In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use the oscilloscope in 123D circuits to measure the blinking rate of a simple LED blinking circuit. Let's take a look at the circuit we have here. There's an Arduino. It's giving 5 volts and ground to a breadboard. And there's a potentiometer connected to the breadboard, so it's getting 5 volts and ground. And the center pin, sometimes called the wiper, on the potentiometer is connected to analog pin 2 on the Arduino. So the Arduino is reading a voltage that changes depending on the position of the potentiometer. Pin 13 of the Arduino is connected to an LED. And what the Arduino is doing is changing the rate at which the LED blinks depending on the position of the potentiometer. Now you'll also notice the oscilloscope is connected to this circuit. It's grounded to the ground rail, and its positive terminal comes up and connects to the same net that's connecting pin 13 of the Arduino to the LED. And what it's doing is, with this wire, it's basically probing the signal that's coming from the Arduino and going to the LED. So as we modify the position of the potentiometer and we get the LED to blink faster and faster, the oscilloscope is looking at that line and displaying a waveform that is representative of the actual voltage coming out of the Arduino over time. And let's make this even faster. You'll see that the frequency gets higher. And let's show you how the oscilloscope itself works. You'll see on the Y axis from top to bottom is 10 volts and you'll see that there are these little lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's 10. These lines are always there, and they're called divisions. So from here to here is one division, and from here to here is one division, and from here to here is one division. If we click on the oscilloscope and we look at its preferences, we see that volts per division is set to 1 volt. And now, 1, 2, 3D circuits will default to having auto scale turned on, I have it turned off so that we can show you things. If I change this from 1 volt to 2 volts, we see that now from one division to the next represents 2 volts, and from the bottom to the top represents 20 volts. And if we looked at our waveform, we see that it's rising 2 volts, 4 volts, and let's say that's 4.2 volts. If we come back to the divisions and we say 1 volt per division, we'll see a, sort of a better representation of the waveform. We kind of want it to fill the screen as much as possible. So it's rising 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.2 volts. OK, that was the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. We see that it's one second from the left to the right, and it's also broken up into 10 divisions. And if we were to look at the time per division, we would see it says 100 milliseconds. 100 milliseconds times 10 is one second. So that makes sense. If we wanted to look closer at the how long it takes for this to rise and fall, we could try and count it like we counted voltage, but instead counting time. But we could also zoom in. So instead of 100, let's set this to 50. If we want to see how long the LED is staying on for and going off for, we can come over and count divisions. So each time per division is 50 milliseconds. So 50 milliseconds, and let's say that's another 30 milliseconds. So it's on for 80, and then it's going to be off for 80, because the code says this is on just as long as it's off. So we know that the period, which is how long it takes for it to rise, stay up, fall, and get ready to go back up again, is about 160 milliseconds. So there you have it the basics of the oscilloscope in 123D circuits. You can find the URL of this circuit in the description of the video. Go ahead, click on it, you can fork this circuit, and you can experiment with the oscilloscope yourself in 123D circuits.